Hey fire signs, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the fear of the black and the magic. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. So, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, this is for you. Uh, happy birthday to all of my Leos out there. Cross watchers are welcome as well. Very general messages for the Fire Sign Collective, you guys. So, please keep in mind that it may not entirely resonate for you or be for you. Just take what does and leave what does not for the next person. So, Fire Signs, the two songs I got for you guys this week. Uh, the first one is called How by LMA. And the second one is um, Pressure by Ari Lennox. And it's really giving me the vibe of, uh, depending on the timeline for your sign. So for some of you guys, you are finding out about somebody switching up on you, okay? Possibly someone not being um, who they say they are to be or as, lo or as loyal to you um, as you are to them. This could be in regards to love or friendship or any type of dynamic. Um, and it feels like you are like, that's just it. Like you're deciding to part ways with someone or something, a person, place or thing this week. Um, and it kind of, it's almost like you're, you, you're transmuting that energy, that disappointment, that loss, whatever the case may be, the betrayal to get back on your game or to, uh, refocus on what's important or just pour back into yourself. So some of you guys are, you know, finding out who or what it is that you need to detach from this week. Others of you may have already, you know, experienced this energy. Um, and it's something that it's something about this week, whereas you really feel like you are detached or you are feeling like yourself again, or there's something that you, you had something to prove. Some of you guys, um, after a separation or walking away from something or someone, you had something to prove to yourself, to the other person, um, whatever it was. And I feel like you are doing just that this week. Okay. So you're making some sort of progress, um, regardless of the loss or the disappointment that you are experiencing this week, uh, fire signs, or regardless of the loss or disappointment that you've experienced in the recent past with someone or something. So let's go ahead and hop into the messages. Um, we will start off with the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck, as well as the Sacred Rebel Oracle deck, and then move into the Tarot. So if you haven't already, please like the video, comment, I comment back, share, and of course, subscribe. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, the more it actually puts your energy into these messages, fire signs, and I can better pick up on what's going on with you. So two cards just flew out here, okay? Card number 24 says potion, and it says, remember to practice self-love, okay? I feel like something about this week is a reminder, um... To pour into yourself and to also not be so focused on giving or helping others, especially if it is not equally yoked. There's no reciprocity. Um, it's something about like pulling back your energy from something or someone so that you can give to yourself here. So maybe you're feeling drained. Maybe you've been overdoing your part. Maybe there's a connection or a friendship or something, whereas you feel as if you were doing most of the work. Um, and that's no longer the case as of this week. Okay. We also have princess. The letter P could be very significant. Um, and it says you can be your own knight. So it's like you're taking things into your own hands. Um, this week, fire signs, the number one could also be significant or the number 25. Um, but it's like you taking your power back or you no longer... Um, it's really you putting yourself first in regards to any area of your life, whether it's, you know, your workplace, your home life, your family, your friends, is you putting yourself first and you realizing, um, that you don't necessarily need saving or anyone to save you, or you really didn't need, you know, someone's presence or something in the first place. Um, I'm hearing they needed you because I'm hearing you needed me. All right, now I'm channeling um, the Rihanna song, You Needed Me. So maybe you were, it just really feels like you were some, some sort of support um, or stability or, you know, you just, you were some sort of firm foundation for someone else or something else. 
Um, but you're pulling all of that back for yourself this week, fire signs, or at least the advice is for you to do so. Cause it says you can be your own knight. So, um, take some sort of initiative. Don't wait for someone to kind of like, um, give you the time, the attention, the effort, or maybe it's time for you to stop waiting or to stop giving something or someone the benefit of the doubt here. And it feels like that's exactly what you guys are doing. At the bottom, it says gold. Okay, it says you don't need someone else to fix you. Yeah, so you can be your own knight. You're your own saver. You don't need anyone else's help in regards to um, making you feel fully yourself, fully comfortable, fully confident. You can nurse yourself back to health, health here. Um, and maybe someone has been trying to make you think like you need them or trying to make you think they were they had good intentions or they were they're really around to help you. Um and for, I mean, for some of you guys, it could just be the case of there's something that you just need to deal with yourself, even if it's not necessarily in regards to anyone else letting you down, disappointing you, betraying you. There's just something um, that you need to do on your own. You need to handle on your own. You need to process on your own fire signs. Release your guilt. Yeah. So it's like, it's some sort of internal, um, you know, it, it almost feels like forgiveness, like needing to forgive yourself or needing to, you know, like move forward from some sort of decisions that you've made here. Um, stop beating yourself up in regards to like, you know, if, if it's a case of you feeling, um, regret for loving someone, being genuinely open, honest, loving, giving, nurturing, you know, and someone did not appreciate that. Don't beat yourself up about that fire signs. Okay. So let's see what the sacred rebel has to say for you guys at the bottom card. Number 44 says visions of life beyond death. Okay. It feels like you guys need a break from reality or a break from whatever has been going on. Um, and your walk in life as of recently, fire signs. For some reason, I keep wanting to say Sagittarius. This is for all the fire signs, but maybe somebody here is watching, of course, for like Sagittarius sun sign or like a Sagitt a major Sagittarius placement, or you could just be dealing with a Sagittarius. You'd be a cross watcher here as well. Um, heaven sent. It's like you're seeking. It's like you. It's almost like you want to escape. Okay, or you're seeking some sort of clarity or guidance or answers, or you're seeking something that um, fulfillment in a way that cannot be given to you from others. So maybe you have been, you know, seeking validation or comfort or love or affection or something from external sources, fire signs, and you're realizing this week that you need to give it to yourself or something's not going to go away unless you address it yourself or something like that. Heaven sent inspiration, yeah, in the world, not of the world. It's also a need for you to recognize that um, I'm hearing it's only temporary. Situations are only temporary. Um, bonds, connections, friendships, everything in this life is only temporary. And I feel like um, there's part of you that's either realizing that or you just need to work on um, accepting that and not allowing other people to uh affect your mood or be in charge of your happiness etc etc other people's actions or lack of action so let's see fire signs clarity confirmation be the hunter not the hunted yeah it's like um the need to stop allowing um maybe people having people take advantage of you or having certain access to you Okay, um, something about being so nice and so generous and there's nothing wrong with that, but it could be that you have been giving to the wrong people or trusting of the wrong people. Okay, conscious connections. Yeah, going beyond normal, something about you connecting with like your soul tribe and people who get you, seeing the true you, the people who actually see and appreciate you for who you are and are not trying to, you know, shame you or change you in any type of way, fire signs could definitely be the goal. It's a lot of inner work. It feels like you guys are processing. You're working on your processing this week. More messages. Conscious connections, okay? And conscious connection with yourself is what it really feels like. Like you're trying to tap in. Uh, some of you could just be uh, just really trying to focus on your intuition and decipher what's your feelings versus what's anyone else's. Um, and being able to get answers to whatever it is that you're seeking from the inside 
okay? It's a heavy emphasis on receiving information, confirmation, um, answers internally or seeking inward versus outward this week, okay? Um, and dream a beautiful dream is at the bottom here. What else? Yeah, inner trust. Faith in the process, okay? So your your faith um, or your loyalty or, it, yeah, it really feels like your, your faith, your belief system, something is being tested here. Um, and maybe you're becoming aware of that or you're, you're being made aware or conscious of certain places, people, things in your life that's keeping you back from um, something that has a lot of potential here or a dream, or aspiration or a lifestyle. There's something that you, that you may have to go at alone. You may have to do this alone, the perfection of your life. Okay. The word wants to be written and it feels like it could definitely be trying times for you guys this week. Um, it could feel as if everything is falling apart here with the perfection of your life card. Also with defense to the end of worthwhile. Um, but there's a need for you to, to hold on. There's a need for you to hold on to your faith this week. Um, now more so than ever, because again, it feels like maybe people are letting you down in the physical. Maybe you, you feel as if you've let yourself down. Um, or there's something that just cannot be handled in the walk in life. It can only be handled in prayer. It could only be handled, um, by holding on to your faith. It could only be handled with God. And that is what's coming up for you guys. So let's see what the tarot has for the fire signs this week. Ten of cups. So emotional fulfillment. This is a promise also. Okay. So maybe you need to be reminded of what is promised to you on a spiritual level. Okay. Um, whoever you pray to, whoever you believe in, there's a promise here. There's a rainbow. So you guys could definitely be going through some challenging times, but there's a need for you to know that there's always a rainbow after the storm. Okay. Could be dealing with um, a water sign or have it in your chart. Cancer energy is here too. Um, the full card, but also you guys are seeking some sort of fulfillment or you're seeking some sort of happiness or you're ready for some sort of new beginning here. Okay. Or to get away or to travel and Aries could be significant as well. Um, some of you guys are really focused on what makes you happy. And that's just that this full card energy, he doesn't have anything with him. So masculine or feminine watching this is like you're amping up to take a new leap. Okay. A new start or something about wanting to escape. You guys could just be wanting to like, I don't know, maybe you're wanting to like escape reality for a little bit, um, and not feel the pressure. Okay. Pressure by Ari Lennox, not feel the pressure, of um of life or letdowns or challenges or obstacles okay so there's a need for you to find your balance and you may need to isolate yourself in order to do so two of wands okay or maybe you don't have the time you don't have the energy you don't have the money to kind of do whatever this is that you're you're seeking at the moment um but it doesn't mean that it'll never happen fire signs it just means that you know right now it's only temporary right now just might not be the best timing for you and that's okay so let's see clearly confirmation what else is coming through for my fire signs this week holy spirit who or what is coming towards them what is it that they need to know clarity confirmation in regards to this week for the fire signs Queen of Wands. Okay, so here you are, Leo specifically, but any fire sign. It's something about you taking your power back, okay? Yeah, Ten of Wands, taking your power. You're dropping some sort of um, pressure, pressure, heavy load, something that possibly was not yours to carry in the first place, or maybe it was, um, and it was for you to deal with and process and heal through and, and come out on the other end, okay? So maybe something you've been holding on to for a very long time, grudges, resentment, hurt, um, spoken on or not spoken on because we saw that word wants to be spoken it's like maybe you are um something you've been in denial about for some time it's like this week you're addressing it and you're letting it go or you need to let it go so that you can fully be in this queen of wands power here 
Strength card, we got Leo all across the board, Fire all across the board, Queen of Wands, Ten of Wands, and the Strength card. So you guys are showing up heavily. This is you, okay? And this is also, I said the promise was at the end. This is you coming out on top of whatever this is that you're going through. I feel like you need to know that you're strong enough, you're wise enough, you're smart enough, you're capable enough, you are enough, period. Okay, Fire Signs. Um, regardless of what's going on in your life as of recently or this week, you could just be finding your strength, okay? Um, or if you've been sick, if, if you've been ill or something here, it's like the load is lessening uh, for you guys this week. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. The Knight of Wands, okay? There could be some sort of um, some anxiousness here or like cold feet or hesitancy it's almost like you don't you may be feeling as if you aren't strong enough um to handle a situation or carry a situation the energy here so you may have some sort of fear or maybe in a recent past it's like wanting to run from something versus deal with it straight on or feeling like you're not i don't know strong enough or capable enough that's what it feels like what else with this queen of wands the hierophant yeah, or you may have strayed away or just be cautious that you are not straying away from your faith, the higher faith, your belief systems, okay? Um, your spiritual strength, whatever it is that keeps you whole, that keeps you sane here, all right? Or something could be going on for some of you guys. Um, there could be, side note, there could be a Taurus or a commitment or something that you are Again, it's like maybe you're you're fearing that you are not good enough or you're just anxious and nervous about fulfilling a role or a position or some sort of connection. Um, four of Cups. There's something going on with like your worth or how you view yourself and the ability to handle something or or make something happen or to be successful successful here. Um what's the higher fence? Yeah, it's definitely a connection showing up here. The lovers, Gemini could be significant. Leo again for the third time. It kind of feels like some of y'all are having cold feet. I mean, this could be in regards to anything at this point. A person, a relationship, um, a presentation, a job, a role, position, interview. Um, it feels like you might be a little in your head about whatever this commitment is. But it feels like I'm hearing this closer than you think. It feels like um, the closer you get to something, the more it kind of has you feeling a type of way. What's this four of cups? Five of cups and the hangman. Or it's the energy of running, wanting to like run away or retreat for some reason. Um, yeah, it's kind of like, should you, should you not? Should I stay? Should I go? Should I continue? Should I let go? In regards to some sort of union here. What's this? Lovers, temperance, Sagittarius, two of cups. Every card of commitment is, is giving me another card of commitment. The number two is very significant. Or you could be wanting something to move faster. Okay. Or to move forward. Because it's the, giving me the energy of waiting also. Like being tired of waiting or anxious about something. What's the Ten of Wands? The Tower and the Star card. Scorpio Aquarius energy. It really feels like... Um, it feels like healing or it feels like possibly like the worst is over in the situation for you guys this week. What's the Tower? The Emperor, Aries, Taurus, Two of Pentacles. What's the emperor? Seven of wands. Ten of swords. It's like you're feeling defeated or something is too much, maybe too much for you. So some of you guys just maybe taking on more than you can handle without you even realizing it. Or maybe you're realizing it midweek or realizing it when it's too late. But there's also a need for you 
Because this emperor, you know, can typically handle it all. He can do it all. He or she can do it all. Same energy with the queen of wands. So it's like you may need help. Um, that's also what I'm getting too. Just going back to the oracle cards from the beginning. Maybe you are just so fixated on doing something yourself and not asking for help and not relying on other people. And that could be a pride issue. That could be an ego issue, fire signs. And you don't want to overexert yourself or deplete yourself or something. Like so for some of you guys, your pride and ego is literally getting in the way, especially if you need help or something. Um, and if you need somebody to lean on, yeah, because it's strength card. Some of y'all need somebody to lean on emotionally, mentally. Um, however, you need assistance this week and you need to um, be real with yourself about that is really what I'm getting. What's the strength card? The page of pentacles with the knight of swords. And it feels like all you have to do is ask for help or all you have to do is just state that something is too much or you need a break or um, you'd rather not. Maybe you need to learn how to say no. Something about you needing to speak up, whether that's saying no, okay, or whether that's saying I need help, okay? Um, but it, I feel like it does require you to drop your defenses or drop your ego. What's the Page of Pentacles? The Six of Cups. The Queen of Cups, okay? A mother figure could be significant. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be significant. Um, but it, it feels like maybe you're trying to be someone else's strength as well, which is all fine and dandy. Maybe you're trying to be somebody's strength though and you may not, you need someone to, to be there for you. So it's, it's really given be cautious of like emptying out your cup, being there for others, but not having that same in regards to yourself. What's this Queen of Cups? The Nine of Wands, the Seven of Swords. Somebody's really struggling here and I feel like they're doing their best to hide it, okay? Or to handle something on their own. Or something's not turning out the way that you thought it would. And it, it could be like your pride or your ego not willing to accept that and still pursuing whatever this is, but it's doing more harm than good. What's the Seven of Swords? The Two of Wands. The Five of Pentacles. It feels like it's emotions that's being hidden here or not addressed. What's the Knight of Swords? The Seven of Cups. And the Moon card. And it's like, uh, it's giving suppressed energy. You are someone else, fire signs. And it could be turning into anger or rage. What's the moon card? A cancer could be significant. Eight of swords, nine of swords. Or it's very tough for you to see the other side of whatever it is, is that you're dealing with or you're feeling this week. Definitely feel like you're in your head. Um, but the Ten of Cups, I keep telling you the promise. The promise is still the same. The promise is still here. The World card, okay? The Ace of Wands, everything's going to work out. The Three of Pentacles is just that. Six of Pentacles, replenishment is here. Um, I almost said reconciliation. Could be for some of you guys. But it gives an energy of uh, reciprocity. The letter R could be significant. Eight of Wands, the Emperor, Five of... Uh, wands, the Queen of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Judgment. It feels like it's some sort of struggle to find your footing or to find balance. A mother figure could definitely be significant, okay? Um, but yeah, yeah, fire signs. All right, so let's pull one final card for you guys for the week. From the Divine Doors deck. I hope this has helped to give you some clarity, some guidance, some comfort during these times. Final messages for my for my fire signs, Holy Spirit. You got two cards. Okay, so sunset, sun is showing up here. Uh, but the first card says, yes, it says kiss the ground and touch the sky. Your soul is set now to leap and to fly. There's something that you need to release. Control, 
I don't know if it's ego based, okay, fear, something that you need to release or you need to delegate or you need to allow, surrender, allow other people to help you. Sunset, time here turns to release and unfurl. Old cords of pain fade as the sunlight burns. Letting something like just, something needs to be let go, okay? Or there's, there's some of you guys who like need, you need a break, okay? Or there's, um... You may be feeling as if you are close to breaking or giving up on something. Um, but again, there's a promise that's here for you. At the bottom, it says, forgive and forget. A ritual cleansing of pain and lies. Arise and awaken. See a new sunrise. The sun sets and it rises again the next day. I hope this helps, fire signs. Leave me a comment below letting me know how this resonates for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you guys soon.